Hello Aquarius, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for May 15th to May 21st, 2020. Please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my current subscribers, all my views. I really appreciate it. It helps out a lot. Remember, there's no way this can connect with everybody out there. And I shuffle the decks before I turn the camera on. I just give one more shuffle and cut the deck before after I turn the camera on. So I'm trying a new angle so hopefully this works good because if it doesn't then I just redo it and try. So I'm trying new angles. Bear with me. Leave comments if you uh, want to about anything. I appreciate it. I read them. I don't get that many but I do appreciate the ones I do get. Thank you. You know and I am kind of new at this so I'm really not sure how much to uh, talk about too much stuff here so I'm kind of learning so there's a lot to learn. Alright so I'm going to start with the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck for you. <clears throat> Excuse me, the first one we have for you Aquarius is 19 polite declaration. You can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals. It is time for you to get out there, claim what is yours, and stay in your power. So stay in your power, Aquarius. 19. Nope, I just saw it. So it says crabs can move in any direction. Backwards, forwards, sideways. This animal will help you choose the best action for the moment. Sometimes no action is best. Trust the direction you are guided to take. Try something different. Assert yourself. Be bold and look after yourself. Be confident when expressing your needs and desires. Otherwise you will not get your way. You need to have faith in yourself and fundamentally know who you are and what you stand for. So I guess I'll put that there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Okay, so that was the first one. The second one is Dancing in the Rainbow. Break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. Number seven. So 19 to 7. So Dancing in the Rainbow is an awesome card to me because rainbows are just happy all the way around. So they're like dreamful, fantasy, happiness. Feeling happy is very much connected to how you perceive events, your roles, your opportunities, what you have or don't have. Focus your attention on the positive things in your life. Create a balance between the negatives and positives you observe. Make a commitment to finding happiness. For yourself, express your creative self. This card tells you no matter where you go or what you do, your optimistic and glowing energy will follow you and bring you happiness and joy. You see the bright side and you bring affection into people's lives. This beautiful loving ability will get you through the tough times and help you succeed. The Hawaiian spinner dolphin is known to leap above the water and perform athletic feats in the air. Now I'll pull one more Whispers in the Ocean card for you. And it is 34, the gift of neutrality. Balance is at work in your life. Yin and yang are opposites in energy, but reside side by side to create the gift of neutrality. 34. Reflect on your behaviors and how you are living. Look for ways to bring yourself into balance with your true spirit. Balance comes through self-effort. Begin the process of harmonizing all areas of your life by dedicating time to everything that is important to you. Doing this will create a sense of joy, freedom, and overall rejuvenation. You are being shown the importance of action and inaction. Become aware of how you think and respond to your environment. Sorry about that. The Nautilus is representation of beauty and sacred geometry. The Nautilus has been living in the ocean for the last 500 million years. They share attributes of the squid and octopus families. One of the Nautilus gifts is their ability to tolerate pressure change and not suffer any ill effects. And they can 
make themselves neutral buoyancy in the water. The ability where they won't flow up to the top and they won't sink, they just stay suspended. Which is a pretty powerful thing to have. So you have the power to control your life. Hopefully you realize that. So if you need to stay still, and it did point out you need to make the some of you have probably made the awareness of how different your life is being um, in shelter in place versus working all the time and everybody moving about. And that is affecting a lot of people. A lot of people are going to make altering life changes due to what's going on. So I'm going to switch over now to the Mystical Cat's Tarot deck for you, Aquarius. And the first one is Sky Queen. So Sky Queen is somebody watching you, somebody observing you. Spine. Earth King is my heaven card. This would be somebody in heaven acknowledging that they're thinking about you and you're thinking about them probably is why this card came out. They know you're thinking about them and they want to acknowledge that to you. So that's somebody in heaven who's passed. The chariot is a couple things. This could be a message, an email, a phone call. The other thing it could be is traveling, a new direction in your life. Traveling to a vacation, traveling to move. Seven of Earth is you waiting for something and with the tree roots I feel like it's, it has to do with family. Hermit. Hermit could be Virgo placement in your birth chart. Aquarius or a Virgo around you, but Virgo usually represents clarity. Um, pomegranates are how many times you've been right in your clarity and your thinking process, or the Virgo doesn't second guess themselves. They make decisions and they go with it. Eight of Fire is somebody getting blamed for something they didn't do. So shifting the blame, basically. Somebody's blaming somebody else for something. To a C, this is love, true love. Nine of skies, you're not being able to sleep, feeling very stressed out. Very stressed out about something. Three C is friends. Hmm, so let me see if somebody's spying, you're waiting, love, heaven, clarity, not being able to sleep, uh, a new direction, a message, blaming somebody else, and friends. The next one is forest sky, which would be healing from something. So you're withdrawing, um, that could represent the hermit, hermit too. Virgos go alone and be by themselves and read or think and sleep and it makes them strong and they come out come out of their house already and act like everything's fine. This is the sun, this is good, this trumps all the negative cards Aquarius. This is a new direction, happiness, abundance, your future is looking very good. And this could represent a Leo if you have Leo placement around you or love and abundance, very nice. The Empress. So the Empress again is a couple things. This could be a new direction. Somebody who's very nurturing. A new opportunity, a new business. Could be a pregnancy. It's something new that is really nurturing and good for you in your life. For a fire, this is a marriage. So you have the sun, love and abundance. The Empress and the Marriage, so a new beginning or a pregnancy. That's beautiful, Aquarius. Wow. Three, ten of C would be a vacation, possibly, or this would be going to the people who make you feel strong. Going on a vacation to see family and just to feel loved and, and where you belong. Her Tom is a helper. So obviously when you go visit the family, mom wants to come back with you. <laughs> I'm being funny, but that is a helper. So that could be true for some of you. The priestess is clarity. Clarity and honesty going way back, way back. This person has a lot of knowledge because they've learned from a lot. 
I feel like this person has a lot of knowledge from past lives too. I know that's hard for some people to understand, but so then we have Seven of Fire. So Seven of Fire is you defending yourself to somebody, Aquarius. Sky Kitten would be somebody immature. Somebody annoyingly immature. Childlike. Towards bothering. Bothersome. Ace of Sea. A lot of love in this reading, Aquarius. So you have Two of Sea. Ace of Sea. You have these cards right here. These are all love and abundance. So you have this one, the Ace of Sea, or Two of Sea. You have the Ace of Sea. You have love and abundance. And then you have what the Marriage card, the Empress card could mean love. So you have a lot of love cards here. There's a lot of love around you, and it looks pretty strong. So I'm going to switch over to the Chakra Wisdom deck now. And you have Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is somebody spying, jealousy, lying around you. And the the full moon could have brought something out. Somebody could have outed themselves. So strength card. This is, could also represent Leo. We had the strength. Didn't we have strength over here? Or what represented Leo over here to me? thought there was something. Hmm. Oh yeah, this one it was. The Sun card. So, the Sun and the Strength card are very good. They both kind of represent Leo to me. They don't have to. But those are very good. Those two right there can pretty much call the shots on this whole reading. Temperance. Temperance is you have to wait for the universe to balance stuff out. You have to have balance. It has to be balanced. The right and wrong have to equal out or something like that in a situation before you can move out of it. Three of Wands would be opportunities coming around you. You get to make a decision on what direction you want to move, what choice you want to make. And you have King of Swords. So King of Swords is coming in to say something. It's not going to be rude. It's not going to be nice. I don't know if you're going to cut somebody out of your life that did something but you're going to put somebody in their place so to speak is what I feel with that king of swords hero font this is your third eye opening you could be communicating with somebody or somebody could be trying to communicate with you and open your third eye and you don't even realize it Aquarius but this could also represent School, like um, a professor going to college, a uh, police, doctor, somebody with authority like that. But it also represents intuition. So either or. It could be both in your case. So Knight of Coins is somebody coming in to offer you something, Aquarius. Something of substantial um, worthiness, if that makes sense. So I don't know if it's a friendship for a lifetime. I don't know if it's a deal with a purchase, some something going on there. Yeah, it's a throat chakra, so I feel like somebody's going to say something. Maybe an apology, a... I do almost feel like it is an apology. And they're going to gift you something. Two of Wands. This pretty much says that you have another opportunity. So you've had the opportunity card twice that something is coming towards you and you have to make a decision. And you have to make a decision concerning yourself and other people. And I feel that could be a little stressful to you, but you're going to make the correct decision. Seven of Wands. This is a couple things as well. This could be that you have a bunch of people around you that want to date you. Or this could mean that you're going inside your head and you're almost um, thinking too much, if that makes sense. You're going over a lot of stuff in your head. But I feel like it's more of a opportunities. You have a, a lot of opportunities around you. And you have one particular person I feel like you are interested in dating. And it doesn't seem like that person is stepping forward. A lot of other people are stepping forward. But the one person you really want to let you know that they are attracted to you is not doing anything is what I'm getting. So you're kind of standing there like, I see the opportunities, but I really want this opportunity. 
So Ten of Swords is you feeling an ending to something. Something is like overkill. You've had enough of it. You can't deal with it anymore. Five of Swords is jealousy, spying. It's kind of like the same as Seven Swords you had a little bit ago. So you got two cards of lower energy, vibration, spying, mischievous friends. Two of Cups. Look at this. You had it over here. It's the same thing. Somebody adores you. They find you attractive. They could find you attractive the whole rest of your life. Is what I feel. Queen of Cups. This is self-love. Giving yourself self-love. Fill your cup full of love. Because somebody has love for you. And I feel like you have to love yourself to accept that love from somebody else. Aquarius. So love yourself. Accept the love. Four of Coins tells me that your guard is up. You're feeling vulnerable, so you are protecting your heart. You're, I don't know if you don't realize you have walls up around you, but the person who loves you is going to notice. Trust me. So you need to be aware of that. The Tower. There's going to be a Tower moment. Tower moments happen when something isn't a good foundation and we're not paying attention, so the universe has it fall. So we can rebuild it correctly. Five of Cups is you missing somebody from your past, Aquarius. Who's somebody you think about a lot that you wish it would have worked out differently? Princess of Coins. So this is somebody who's practical with their coins, somebody who's honest, pure, loving, faithful. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. That's kind of weird. She's really loving. Yeah, really practical. So, I don't know if you want to offer somebody from the past after a tower movement something, something, or you're just thinking about them. So, Six of Wands is victory and success over lower energies, lower vibrations. People who are toxic, you have success over that. You're protected. They can't reach you. Look at this. Ace of Cups. And where was that one? That was right here. So you have double confirmation of love in this reading. In both these decks. A couple of double cards. That's powerful. So then you have Princess of Wands. So Princess of Wands is a lot of opportunities. New beginnings new love. This person is protected by the divine. A big opportunity and this person is honest. Honest and loyal, pure, possibly naive. An Ace of Wands, wow. Ace of Wands is abundance and opportunity. That is just good. So you have an opportunity, and I feel like it's going to be um, concerning you and other people, and you're going to make the right decision. So I'm going to switch now to the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you. So the first one that comes up for you is forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So, I agree. If you're holding resentment in your heart, you're not moving forward in some area. When you release it, you don't have to forget about it. You don't have to forget the pain. But when you forgive, you just grow. And it really, you do release it almost when you forgive because it doesn't hold the meaning it held. And I, a lot of people hold, put a lot of energy into not forgiving people and hanging on to something. And you're wasting your energy hanging on to not forgiving somebody and it's damaging to you. Let go of the energy. Let, if you can't forgive somebody, you're just holding on to negative energy is what I feel. Forgiveness is... I get it's hard for some people because they have pride and ego, but it's really... you're healthier and you feel better once you release it and move on. So the next one is failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So uh, this makes me think of all the sports 
guys who always say how many times they have to shoot the baskets in the basketball before they actually make it and start making it. I mean, it looks so easy when people don't have skills or they haven't practiced something and they look at people who have practiced something and learn skill. So you have to learn a skill, you have to learn a different direction to go somewhere that you have failed at. And it could be the forgiveness, it could be you're not, you're failing because you're not forgiving. I mean, when you forgive you're going to the purple healing and the orange bright, the sun, and this is healing and a lot of passion, a lot of love. So, healing is hard, or forgiveness is hard, but it really pushes you into a really stable place. So, I'm going to pull Angel and Ancestor card for you. And you have Winter, take care of your needs. So, let me see what this says, because I have not read these for a little while. Might take me a minute. Sorry, Aquarius. The book is really little. I'm going to have to put this down. Okay, here we are. So for winter, it says, Do everything you need to be your best, then move beyond your fears and limitations. You have an opportunity to move beyond your fears. Although you may feel in the dark, get comfortable with being in the unknown and trust that the light within you will sustain you through what may seem a challenging process. Ask yourself what you need to do to feel supported and alive. You may uncover something from your past that you have buried deep. When the winter card arrives in the future position of the spread or the last card in a reading, it can also indicate the coming winter will usher in important energies with regard to your question or intentions. So then the next one you have, I'm going to look it up real fast. Okay, the next one that comes up for you is Hermit, Retreat and Recharge. So this would be a Virgo placement. If you have Virgo placement around you, or like I said, I think you had it before, it basically means um, clarity, healing and clarity, withdrawing and clarity. Take time to rest and recuperate in order to continue your growth. Benefit from the information that will come directly from your heart space. You have been working hard and giving your all to your current situation and it may become draining and deter detrimental to your development unless you retreat and recharge your energies. So you are being guided to take a step back at this time. If you are working or bringing something together, your over-involvement could impede the process, so retreat and breathe. If you have something to say, or do that could have a larger impact on your life, spend some time in deep thought, even contemplation before moving forward. Often when we rush in we don't see how destructive our actions can be, so meditate and listen to your soul's wisdom before proceeding further. Clarity will come to you. It will. So solitude and meditation. So now I'm going to open the fortune cookie for you and see your love fortune. Aquarius, and you have, if you want to become fearless, choose love. Wow, so it's basically saying that love will make you fearless. Wow, so thank you so much, Aquarius, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, views. Thank you, thank you. Bless you.